government won't blame Buari for any failure, Shetima. Shetima said Tinubu took hard decisions to protect the country's economic future. Buari handed over the reins to Tinubu on May 29, 2023, after the former had completed his two-term eight-year tenure, which many Nigerians have described as not so good a period for the country. However, Despite the unfavorable assessment of the preceding administration, Shetima reiterated that Tinubu would take full responsibility for his government actions. He disclosed this while speaking during the second Chronicle Roundtable, organized by the 21st Century Chronicle on Thursday, May 2nd, 2024. We were laughing at those who celebrated dollar rise, Shetima. The vice president noted this current period in, is the most difficult time for any political leader in Nigeria due to the myriad of challenges facing the country. He stressed that Tinubu refused to apply a place ball to the prevalent uh, challenges but took a bitter pill to secure the country's economic future. The president chose the option that will save the lives of the people instead of the ones that will lead to, the pro to prolong the economic debt. We will not resort to put the blame on previous administration as leadership is about courage, continuity. Before we took charge, the biggest elephant in the room was about fuel subsidy removal. It was an albatross round the neck of the nation for the past 20 to 30 years. We, understand, we understood why our predecessor decided to remove subsidy because there were no sufficient budgets for it in the fiscal year. A year before we took office, Nigeria's debt service to revenue ratio has grown to 111.18%. It was an economic debt sentence. To be plain to us, our debt service was that if you earn 100000 you are forced to borrow an additional 11800 to pay the debtor. How do we intend to survive this? It will be long before we become a pariah, he stated. And this is the news for today. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video, and subscribe to this channel to get more news like this from us.